Hey there, welcome to day 1037. I know, crazy, right? Over a thousand days I've been hopping online and talking about what I'm doing and what's working, what's not working as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world to the online world. Now, pretty old, so I spent over a quarter century in corporate America working for some of the coolest companies on the planet, as well as uh, since I was 13, I've always had some kind of a business or an enterprise going on in the side. So worked in lots of different businesses, lots of different industries. 27 offline. Now, I haven't even counted all the things that I've done online. Been online since 2017. Uh, hopped on after my divorce. Was looking for something else to do. I was too old to want to go back to corporate America, but not old enough to just throw in the towel and quit and retire either. So I thought, I've always been curious about the internet. I'm going to check this out and see what it has to do, which is kind of funny because now I have to today, one of the things I have to do, and it's funny that I actually understand what this means, I have to... Uh, add double authentication to my SendGrid SMTP account before December, which is tomorrow already, and make sure that my my mail, my emails and things still go out when they're supposed to go out. So it's funny that I actually know what that means now. Three years ago, I would have had no idea. Somebody would have said that, and I would have been, oh my God, I don't know what this means, and I would have been Googling away. Now, I have learned over the last three years, one of the biggest lessons I've learned is that we can absolutely positively figure anything out imaginable. And Google normally is our friend and we can just Google it or we can put it into some other search engine and we can find millions of answers to our questions. Sometimes we don't want it, millions of answers. I've also found that some of the most specific, bizarre searches, the more specific I am, the better quality of the answers that I'll get. So if I have a technical problem, if I copy the exact error report into the search code, I will get exactly specific answers to that thing. It's really cool. It's amazing how powerful technology has been. But technology, just like everything else, is a double-edged sword, right? Just like um, if we're, ta if we're talking about power, and absolute power corrupts absolutely was the idiom that we talked about in Supersize Your Business today. And this is one of those idioms that I actually dug into and really did a bunch of research on because there, I've seen so many examples of it in my life. And one of the quotes that I thought was even better than absolute power corrupts absolutely is by, let me see who it's by. It's by Frank Herbert. And it's his perspective in Dune. And he says, power attracts the corruptible. To me, power is a lot like money. Money is an amplifier. Power is an amplifier. It just makes you more of what you already were. I don't think it automatically corrupts, but I do believe that it attracts the corruptible. Those people that are subject to being corruptible are attracted to politics, high levels of corporate organizations, um, high levels in any type of organization. I have seen abuse of power in, across the board in different industries. Almost every industry has a story, if not many stories, of an example of someone that was corrupted or abused their power, either their power in an organization, power in the industry, power in an agency, power in politics, power in religion, power in our clubs, power within our families. We see abuse of power and abuse in our family structures all the time, which is very heartbreaking and sad, but it, it exists. Uh, it's like what's going on in the United States right now. If anyone believes that there wasn't fraud, massive fraud in the the this year's 2020 election, I, I think you almost have to be brain dead. Power and corruption has been going on for decades, if not centuries, in this country and throughout the world because power makes, attracts people that are corruptible. I really like that saying. I think that's my new one instead of absolute power. Absolute power has shown us throughout history how easily corrupted men are. Good people with good intentions often enter politics, but are easily corrupted by the system. So is it politics that's broken or is it our current system of politics and power that's broken? I think it's the, the system of politics that's broken and that we need to address that. But that's, that's a huge topic. So absolute power corrupting. That was a, it was a really good one and a timely topic. I thought for today, uh, it was, I'm a little nervous sharing it because I think that people, um, are, being manipulated and there's so much propaganda and so much manipulation going on that people are upset and angry and frustrated with um, 
what's going on all around them. COVID-19 has contributed to that with the lockdowns and people feeling like their freedoms and their control has been taken away, their personal choice and their decisions. And then you've got this mess with politics here in the United States. And then you throw on top of that the media, the, the social media giants and the internet giants and the, the mainstream media and the way they're, they're sharing information. And I say it's massive brainwashing propaganda manipulation. It's not about giving people the who, what, where, when, why, and how so that they can think for themselves and reporting the facts. It's across the board craziness. And I, I am so grateful and so thankful that I stopped watching the media, watching television, watching the news in the 1980s. It's mind boggling. I am so grateful that I did that because it, it makes me go to the source, look for information, dig. And it's frustrating how hard it is to get at the real information. I want to see the speech for myself. And then I want to make my own, draw my own conclusions, make my own interpretations of what I saw and heard in a particular speech or presentation or video clip. I don't want somebody narrating and telling me what they think I should have seen in that clip. And that's what our media has become. Our media has become this massive filter to present a story the way they want to present it for their best interests, for their increase in ratings, for their viewership, for their likes and clicks and advertising dollars. That is why things are being presented the way that they are. So absolute power corrupting absolutely was a great, great topic for me to dig into over the weekend and, and pick as an idiom for today. Uh, last day of our no nonsense November tool of the day talked about what I call my seven feelings trick. And it's a trick I adopted a long time ago where each day of the week I focus on one positive feeling that I want to feel throughout my life more often. I want to consciously make sure I'm bringing more of that into my life. Uh, so that was our last one today. Tomorrow we roll into the fifth and final 30 free day, 30 plus free day, get up and go challenge starting tomorrow on the get up and go challenge page. Uh, 30 days to really install in each and every one of us. And I reinforce it every time I go through it and do it as well because I participate in the challenge. I don't just talk about it. I actually do it right along with the participants. Install in us the SOAP framework. And again, you'll see the SOAP framework a lot over the next 30 days, 31 days, because I'm going to be talking about it pretty much every day. And we want to take this framework for making change and decisions and install it in our subconscious and make it just a habit so we automatically are guaranteed to get better results after having gone through a change or challenge or face something or an experience then and we're guaranteed better off than if we hadn't gone through that experience if we hadn't had the soap framework to help us filter and manage that framework now the cool thing about the soap framework is it's automatically customized to the person that's using it you're automatically making it your own. It's not my framework. You take the framework and you make it your own and you install it in your subconscious and you use it to filter from now on your decisions, your experiences, your um, obstacles, your challenges, your changes that you're faced with. It works on challenges as big as COVID-19 or a health challenge like a sudden cardiac arrest and as things as small as what flavor coffee do I want to make today? So it starts to work and it's kind of cumulative. It's like positive thinking and mindset in abundance mindset and things. They work on us very slowly at first and then they're automatic. And when they become automatic, that's when our life makes changes in the direction that we want them to go at amazing, miraculous feeling speeds. So get up and go challenge. No nonsense November. Oh, fun challenge today was about tough jobs and that Life is often, we're often faced with tough jobs, tough decisions, tough choices in life, but that just because they're tough doesn't mean they're not fun. So we're looking for a tough job that we do today. And I guess the SMTP thing is going to be one of my toughest jobs today. Everything else pretty much comes automatic, but that technical stuff with respect to the internet and computers, some of that is a stretch for me. I always figure it out. But sometimes I wait too long before I ask the question. And as soon as I ask the right question, I get the answer. But it, I have to even, even just asking it to myself, it has to be the right question before I actually click through and, and find the right thing that will get me to the next step in my journey. 
All right, that is all I've got today. I'm getting ready for the 30-day challenge. I've got a little bit of the groundwork laid, but not enough to uh, to say I'm ready to, to rock and roll. But I'm always ready to rock and roll because no matter what, I'm committed that it starts tomorrow. So it starts tomorrow no matter what. No matter how ready I am, we go. We go, we go, we go. And we, uh, we do it together. All right, have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, ask in the comments below or direct message me. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.